To the new viewers that are watching me for the first time, I am a small YouTuber of eight years almost you've never heard of, and welcome to my review of the 2018 Royal Rumble event. Um, I thought I'd give a more in-depth look at the event in this particular video. Um, I watched it last night live. I was watching it for the Royal Rumble match concept, as I don't think WWE product's very good at the moment. It hasn't been for the last year. But I enjoy the Rumble match when booked right, and I was intrigued by the women's Rumble match too. Um, <clears throat> I thought the championship matches were the highlights of the show full. I thought AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn versus, or AJ Styles rather, versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens was a solid opener. I thought the Brock Lesnar v Braun Strowman v Kane match was good. I enjoyed the spots where uh, Brock Lesnar broke character and punched uh, Braun Strowman for real. I believe he called him a stupid bitch according to someone on Twitter. So that's, it's always fun to see Brock Lesnar break out a character and get really uh, angry. It's fun watching an angry man that size going, you know, berserk. Um, there was a couple of tag team matches I wasn't that interested in, so I'm not going to spend much time on them. The Usos versus, is it Gable and Shelton Benjamin? It was okay. Um, I don't really watch the WWE product week in, week out. I've been a fan of wrestling for since I was free and now 30. Yes, I'm very old now. But uh, I have struggled to keep up with the current WWE product. Um, the other tag match, Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan versus The Bar was fairly forgettable. Um, I'm just going to really talk about the Royal Rumble matches. That was really why I was watching this show. First up was the men's one, which took place in the middle of the card. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was a very average Royal Rumble match, to be blunt. I think a lot of the fans on Twitter are overhyping it because they got a result they wanted. Shinsuke Nakamura was a pleasant surprise to see him winning as well for me. I thought for sure Roman Reigns was going to win, or if not, John Cena was going to pick up the third um, Royal Rumble victory to tie Steve Austin. As another fuck you to all the fans that loved wrestling long before John Cena came on the scene. Um, I tell you what puts me off WWE product is Michael Cole and the commentary team drilling home that John Cena's the greatest of all time. No, he isn't. In kayfabe terms, maybe he is because he's been booked like no one else in the last 15 years. But as a wrestler, he is one of the worst top guys. He is the main reason why a lot of former wrestling fans stop watching that's a fact so how the fuck does that make him the greatest of all time i'll never know but if he's speaking just purely on kayfabe terms then fair enough he's a 1700 time champion or or going to be soon so yeah he's super cena he's super boring he's super average um, i was glad to see that he didn't win the royal rumble and reigns is just as bad um I noticed Ty, Jillen, Ty Dillinger was supposed to be number 10, but he got attacked by Sami Zayn. Um, he was going to be number 10 again, but um, it looks like, you know, I always feel like if you get attacked before entering the Royal Rumble, then you're on your way out of the company, I, I feel. Um, so I, I don't think Ty J Dillinger will last long in the WWE, <clears throat> not even making it to the match. Um, the Hurricane returned. Uh, I never never liked him really um, when I, I watched him back in the day. I, I thought Shane Helms was a good in-ring wrestler, pretty decent, but I thought the character of the Hurricane was a kind of a reason not to watch. Um, <clears throat> Michael Cole noted that the kids liked him. Did the, did the kids really like the Hurricane? I'm not sure. Uh, Rey Mysterio came back at number 27. He looked in really great shape. I'm not sure if he's back full time or not, but it was good to see him. It was a pleasant surprise. I haven't seen him since 2014 in Royal Rumble, if I'm corrected. Um, but I thought the match overall was average. I've seen better, I've seen worse Royal Rumbles, but I thought it was a very average Royal Rumble. Um, now, on to the women's Royal Rumble match, the first ever. Um, I'm going to be blunt. It was the worst ever Rumble produced I've seen by the WWE. As good as the women's division is, they 
overall aren't good enough to put on an annual Royal Rumble event yet. It was intriguing and interesting to see what it'd be like the first time around, but I I don't think this should be an annual thing. I, I, it was very, it felt very long. It was the same time as the men's, but it felt very long. It felt very boring at times. It felt very sluggish at times. Um, there was a lot of beautiful women in the event. It was nice, you know, for that reason. But, um, and there was a couple of good spots between Trish Stratus and Mickey James looking at each other again. Um, they had a fantastic feud in 2006, 2005, and a fantastic match at WrestleMania 22 that got Mickey James a rollicking backstage because she'd done the, the whole V sign and uh, touched uh, Trish's uh, uh, bits. Anyways, um, I was uh, drifting away there. Um, I thought this, the overall Royal Rumble match was a hard to sit through. I was, I was struggling to um, keep awake during it. Um, I think maybe if there hadn't been the men's match, Rumble match earlier, maybe I would have enjoyed this one more. But it just, it just felt, you know, very sluggish at times. I thought the MVP of the match was Sasha Banks. She entered number one and was in it till the end before getting eliminated by the female equivalents of John Cena and Roman Reigns, the Bella Twins, who are only there because of who they're married to. I'm sorry, it's the truth. I say when Michelle McCool, I never thought she was that great. She's there because she's married to The Undertaker. Um, it was good to see Trish Stratus and Lita still. Look, can hit a damn good moonsault. Um, Molly Holly, good to see her. Vicky Guerrero, good grief. I had to turn the TV down when she came out for that with that excuse me crap. Never liked her. She's got the go away heat. She's got to change the channel heat. I know they changed channel when she came on because she was so loud and I'm living in the UK and um, I can't have it up too loud when I'm watching it live and uh, I was pretty pissed off when she came out. <coughs> um, good to see Ronda Rousey at the end. Uh, Oscar won the Royal Rumble match. A lot of fans, some fans were moaning about Ronda Rousey stealing her spotlight but I thought Oscar was made to look strong. She won the match. She slapped Rosie's hand away when uh, Ronda Rousey hand away when she went to shake it. Um, I thought Ronda Rousey was looking great. Um, dressed like Rowdy Roddy Piper about the kilt. Um, and I heard she's signed a full, full time contract with the WWE, which, yeah, oh, well. Wow. Um, still won't make me want to tune in each week, but it's very, it's got me intrigued of, of what they're going to do with R Ronda Rousey. Uh, she was undefeated in the UFC for quite some time, then she got knocked out in the last two fights, and now she's boom, she's here in the WWE. Maybe if CM Punk gets knocked out in his second fight, he'll be back in the WWE too, that'd be great. Anyways, uh, Overall, with the championship matches and some of the good moments that happened in the Royal Rumble matches, I would have to give this event a 7 out of 10. I've seen a lot better events, seen a lot worse. Um, I think WWE overall is still very poor and the commentary is still very bad and it puts me off watching. But um, I thought it was a slightly above average show and, and quite solid in some of the championship matches.